Welcome to our session. In this video, we will explain how to use Luminix Araneo software and GigaCore switches to monitor an MA3 network setup. The optional MANet3 license can be installed via the license window in the top right corner of the Araneo software. Here you can choose Activate Ticket to install the MANet3 license. When this license is installed and active, Araneo will allow you to monitor the MANet3 devices and sessions on your Luminex network. In this setup, we have a network consisting of four Luminex switches. One at the front of house, where the Grand MA3 Compact XT console is connected. One in the house lights dimmer cabinet, where an MA3 DIN rail node is connected. Another one in the patch bay, where an MA3 processing unit and on-PC backup computer are hooked up to and the fourth switch labeled stage left that has no MA3 devices connected at this moment. On all the switches we have set up group 7 as our MANet3 group, here indicated by the yellow ports. All the switches are connected via the inter-switch link trunk with the front of house switch. The house light switch and the patch bay switch are connected in a redundant loop over fiber. Araneo has now automatically discovered not only the Luminix switches, but also all the MA3 devices connected to them. There is no need to manually add them in the software. When using the new generation of Luminix switches like the GigaCore 10i, 16i, 30i or the 10t, 16t, 18t or 20t, the computer that is running Araneo does not need to be in group 7, the MANet3 group. It can just be connected to the management group. When we expand the information pane of a device, we can also see the device IP and MAC address and the session time. As we can see here, our two port node has a red network icon indicating that it is not a member of a session. If we click on the health check in the top right, we get a health report of our network setup. All the network settings are fine, but we get a warning that one device has an incompatible software version. When we select a mainnet network in the toolbar, we get an overview of all our mainnet 3 devices and sessions. As we can see here, the 2 port DIN rail node is still running an older software version, preventing it from joining the session. Here we also see that the Compact XT console is a session master. When we select one of the switches, we can also see on which ports which MANet3 session is active. On the house light switch, this is only on the trunk ports, as the DIN rail node is not yet a member of a session. On the stage left switch, there are also no sessions active on any port, as there are no MANet3 devices connected. When we hover over an MANet3 session icon, we will see an animation on the network lines in Araneo indicating the MANet3 multicast traffic. More on that later. Now we will update the DIN rail node so that it can join the session. We have updated our DIN rail node and it is now running on the same software version and a member of the session. Our health check shows no more errors and the MANet3 network overview also shows that all devices are running smoothly. We did of course get some entries in our log because of the DIN rail node rebooting after the upgrade. This we can clear out. If we lose a device on the network, the line to that device will turn red, as we will demonstrate here by unplugging the on-PC computer. As we mentioned before, we can see the flow of the MANet3 traffic when we hover over a session ID. This is the actual multicast traffic, so it is very important on an MA3 network to set up your IGMP snooping and querier correctly. By default, all the groups on the Luminex switches have IGMP snooping and IGMP querier enabled and unknown flooding disabled.
This means that the network switch with the lowest IP will be elected as the IGMP query. In this setup, it is the front of house switch. If for some reason IGMP snooping would not be enabled on the MANET3 group on one of the switches, this will also appear in the health check window as I will show now. Also, lines showing the MANET3 traffic will turn red, indicating a problem. In the health check window, we can immediately click on the group that will send us to the right settings to solve a problem. After a few moments, the network health check will be green again and the lines indicating the MANET3 traffic that were previously red will now turn green again. Araneo will also check if all the MANET3 multicast registrations on all the switches between the session master and the other session members are in place. Having the front of house switch set up as an IGMP querier or having the patch bay or house light switches as an IGMP querier will prevent the MANET3 multicast traffic from being sent to parts of the network where no MA3 devices are connected. Even if they have network ports configured in group 7, the MANET3 group. As soon as an MANET3 device is connected to the MA3 group and joins a session, the device will register to the MANET3 multicast stream and data will be sent to the stage left switch. We have now connected the MA3 on PC computer to the stage left switch, for example if we want to test some lights on the stage. We now see that the MANET3 data is also flowing to that switch. As we can see now, the link between the patch base switch and the on PC computer has turned red because it was disconnected and the computer is now connected to port 1 of the stage left Gigacore switch. If we take a look at the flow of our multicast traffic, we see that the data also flows to the stage left switch and from there on towards the on-PC computer. We will now move the on-PC computer back to the patch base switch. As we can see now, the computer is now connected again to the patch base switch and the line to the stage left switch has turned red. We can clean this up by clicking the clean graph icon in the top toolbar. If the wrong network switch would be the IGMP querier, in this case the stage left switch, then all the MANET3 multicast traffic would also flow to that switch. We will force our stage left switch to be elected as an IGMP querier by lowering the IP address of that switch. We now see that the stage left switch has become the IGMP querier and that MANET3 data is flowing to that switch, although no MA3 devices are connected, leading to unnecessary network traffic. It will work, but it's not really optimal. We will force the front of house switch to be the IGMP querier again. After a few moments, this takes effect. After a few minutes, we will also see the IGMP registrations on the stage left switch disappear and our network is optimized again. All devices that need to get the MA3 net data are receiving it without it being sent to parts of the network that don't need it at all. 
Apart from changing the IP address of a switch to make it the IGMP querier on the network, it is also possible to set the IGMP querier in the IGMP settings menu of the group configuration. Changing the querier IP mode of a switch from default to primary will force the switch to become the primary IGMP querier. The IP addresses on the right are only used for the querier election process. The last two digits of these IP addresses correspond to the last two digits of the management IP address of that switch. When applying these settings, you will be prompted with the question if you want to apply these querier settings to all groups or only to the current group. When we start a second MANET3 session on this network, consisting of the on-PC computer and the processing unit, we can now see the two different sessions that are active on the network. And we can also see how the data flows between the switches and MA3 devices, helping you in keeping a nice overview in larger setups. To move the MA3 license to another computer, first make sure that you are connected to the internet. Then simply open additional settings and click licenses. Make sure to copy your license key in case you no longer have the original email with the registration key. Then press deactivate to remove the license on this computer and restart Araneo. To activate your license on a computer again, make sure that you are connected to the internet. Go to the same license menu, press activate ticket, enter the license key and press activate. 